Hi guys, welcome to another sunscreen review. My name is Tamna. In this video, I will be reviewing Fenty Skin Hydrovisor Mineral SPF 30 Moisturizer. This sunscreen claims to be a lightweight sunscreen that works over time to even out one's skin tone, refines pores, instantly gives you some extra bounce while boosting your skin's moisture barrier. It claims to absorb instantly doesn't leave your skin feeling or looking greasy. It's a perfect base for makeup. It's sheer on all skin tones, no chalkiness or flashback. Those are a lot of claims. I can't wait to try it on so we can both see if it lives up to them. Um, it retails for 48 euros for 50 ml. It's a refillable sunscreen. It also comes in a travel size, which is 30 ml, which is what I got. This video was brought to you guys. Thanks to my friend Osara because she helped me get this particular sunscreen so thank you so much Osao. all right so let's find out if this fenty mineral sunscreen is shared on all skin tones or doesn't leave a cast on dark or deeper skin well using my own complexion starting first with hand swatch the sunscreen is pink in color i don't know if you guys can see it now I'm just going to blend this in. This is blending in so nicely. So it instantly blends in without stress. So with sunscreen and without sunscreen, just a tad bit of cast. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section not bad like the tint is not bad i just hope i get the same effect on my face if you haven't subscribed to my channel already now be a good time for you to subscribe so you always get notification each time i upload new product reviews which you'll be interested in moving on to face application i have my measuring spoon right here it's a quarter teaspoon i use this for my face and ears and if I need to apply it on my neck, I go in with the same amount. But do you? So with nine palms, you get a full spoon. Right now, my face has just three products aside from lip gloss, which is on the screen right now. I am not going to take it out or like take out any excess shine that you guys can see. I'm not even actually shiny. See, my skin is just glowing, you know. <laughs> So to apply this, I'm going to go in batches or in tranches. So I'll divide this spoon into three, not equally, but just, you know, so that I can take my time to blend it in. Maybe I should have done one side first. I think this works. Don't forget your ears, guys. This is just the first batch. To be honest, if I finish applying the whole spoon and this is the result I get, I'll be kind of impressed, if that makes sense. So let me just move on to the next one. Oops. I lost it, but I can pick it up from the table. I got it. Fenty, I'm rooting for you. I am rooting for you. I intentionally did not want to apply it at a go, mainly because some people be like, oh, take a time. Do it in steps. It won't leave a cast on you. I've done that now. It's a 30 ml, right? Yeah, it is. I wish they made a 15 ml for, for occasions like this. But I'm happy I did not buy the full size. I was this close. This close. But because I wasn't seeing reviews at all, then I was like, well, being the scapegoat for all stack skin, I better start with the small size first. Now I want to go in with the final one.
minimal eye sting that I'm noticing. So I'm done blending in the mineral sunscreen by Fenty Skin and here's what I have. My eyes though, at least I'm not teary. So let me go on to describe this sunscreen for you guys. In terms of how it feels on the skin, it's a lightweight sunscreen that blends in easily without stress. In terms of the consistency, it's not too thick, not too runny. In terms of the finish it gives the skin, it leaves me with a dewy finish. I'll show you guys my palms right now. I don't know if the camera is picking it, but you guys can see the shine my palms, you know, both have. In terms of fragrance, alcohol and essential oil is free of those, but it has that Fenty Skin Signature scent. It has about the same scent with their previous sunscreen. If the physical one doesn't work for you, you can definitely pick up the chemical version. Is this dark skin friendly? To be honest, it's not. It's very glaring. I look purple. There's definitely an obvious cast. But don't worry, I will try and fix it up with makeup. So what type of sunscreen is this? This is a mineral sunscreen. The sunscreen fuel type is zinc oxide at 15.5%. It contains other ingredients like niacinamide, tocopherol, gluconolactone, hyaluronic acid, sodium hyaluronate, glycerine, and so on. So who did I recommend this sunscreen to? If you're way, way lighter than I am, I recommend this to you. Um, even if you're like a shade or two shades lighter than I am, I feel like this will still leave you with some form of cast or some form of tint on your skin. So you have to like be way lighter than me for you to be able to get away with this purple tint or cast that you guys are staying. So if you're deeper than I am, just forget it. Like, it's not for us, except you're willing to wear makeup over it. I'm going to try that out right now, which is why I just picked up my foundation, Fenty Hydrating um, Foundation. I have in the shade 440. I find this tad bit lighter than I am, darker than I am, sorry. I went in with just two pumps. I really don't have a lot of things to cover. So, yeah. Let me just use this brush to blend it in like so if i figure out that the video is too long i will definitely not add this part but to be honest i'm applying makeup on camera mainly because you guys requested so this is what my face looks like after applying foundation i'm going to go off camera to complete the rest of my face and i'll be back to show you guys the finished look It works pretty well as a base for makeup for me. I want to do a flash test and insert it on the screen so that you guys can see. Not bad base for makeup. It doesn't peel on the skin. The ice thing I felt while I was applying this on screen or the tingling sensation has definitely stopped so it's gone. So to conclude this video, it does absorb nicely into the skin. In my own term, it's very easy to blend. Um, in terms of it leaving your skin, not leaving your skin feeling or looking greasy, I'll say that it did leave my skin with a shine, but it wasn't like, you know, overpowering whatsoever. In terms of it being a perfect base for makeup, I'd say yes, it's a good base for makeup. Although if you have like my skin type, I'd say that maybe the hydrating foundation may not be a good idea because in few hours now that it's summer, this, you know, could make your face a lot more, you know, glowy, especially if you did not use like a primer and if you did not, you know, use like a setting spray to like lock it up. In terms of it being sheer on all skin tones, if you're my skin tone or deeper, this is not going to be sheer in my opinion. When I hear the word sheer, I want it to be transparent. I know you guys could see my skin, but then I was looking purple. I want it to be invisible on my skin no purple tint no bluish um hue no white cast but i'm getting this with this sunscreen and i know it's common for mineral sunscreens i know that there's a brand out there at least currently that i have figured out just that i can't get my hands on it guys i wish i could um it's per i think it's spelled c-o-t-z-o i'm not sure i'll leave the right name on the screen and they have i think about two or three sunscreens and one 
It's so good on dark skin. I've seen a couple of reviews from fellow creatives and it looks really nice on them. The recent video I saw or the recent review I saw was from Scamanda14 on Instagram. If you aren't following him, you should. He has a database for sunscreens that he has tried and he's way, way deeper than I am. And um, I find his database amazing. You should check him out. I'll leave a direct link to his database and his Instagram handle. In the description box so if that sunscreen from the brand can work on him then it means that we have found a solution to you know this whole mineral sunscreen leaving a cast on dark or deeper skin tones also if you'd like to see a review from someone who is a shade or two shades better than i am make sure you check out ife balogun's post on instagram and on tiktok I don't know if she has posted on YouTube yet. I'll check that out and leave links in the description. That's pretty much it, guys, for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, like it, share it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Drop a comment in the comment section and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching and do have a blessed day. Guys, my makeup still looks nice. Hmm.